In this video, let us see how to deploy Flask project on render. As you can see, I have a Flask project on this local server. Let us see how to deploy this Flask project to the render. So let's get started. So before we continue ahead, upload all your project files to the GitHub repository. I have uploaded all my project files to this GitHub repository. So make sure you upload all your files to your GitHub repository, then continue ahead. After that, just go to the render.com. So this is the dashboard of this render. You can get started for free to create your account. After you create your account, you will have your option called dashboard. Click on that. As you can see, I have previously deployed one Django project. If you want to see how to deploy a Django project and render, I have already made a video on that. I will provide the link in the description. You can check that out. Here we are going to deploy the Flask project. For this, you will have your option called new at the top right corner and select the web service. And here we need to provide the repository link here. Select the public git repository and go to your repository and copy the URL of the repository. So this is the repository URL and paste it in the public git repository. Paste it here and click on connect. As you can see, new page open up. Give your name for your project. And if you want to change the language to something else, since we are deploying flaws, Python 3 is enough. Then the root directory. Here provide where your requirements.txt and the run.py file is located. Here you can see that both my files are located at the root folder. So I will skip this. Then provide your requirements.txt. Make sure you have a requirements.txt file. Let's open this up. As you can see, I have provided all my dependencies here. Then we will start the Flask app using the Gunicon. For this in the requirement.txt file, make sure you provided the Gunicon. I have provided it here. Make sure you provided that in your requirement.txt file as well. Then only the Flask project will deploy successfully. Then you need to choose the plan. We are going to deploy this project on a free plan. So I will choose the free option. If you have any environment variables in your project, provide it here. I don't have any. I think we have configured everything here. Now click on deploy web service. It starts building our Flask project. You can see that here. It just give you a few minutes before it deploys. Now we get the logs. You can see in the below. So we got the error says no module name app. So we will have to rename the run.py file to the app.py. You can see that here in the GitHub, I have named the main file to run.py. We will have to change this to app.py. This is my mail file to start the Flask server. We have to rename this to app.py. So let me rename this file name to app.py store. I click on save. So we have to update this to the GitHub. So I will I will perform the git pull uh git add. Then I will perform the git commit. The message will be updated. Then I'm going to push this file to the GitHub. Now I have renamed this file to the app.py. Let's go to the render.com. And here in the top section, click on manual deploy and click on deploy on last commit. It will see deploy our project. As you can see, it's again building from the last commit. Here we get a message your service is live. That means our Flask project has been deployed successfully. If you scroll up, you can see a link on the top left corner. Click on that link. This is our project URL. Now our Flask project has been deployed successfully. You can see that here. We have a URL. This is our URL pro. You can see that on render.com. Let us see if it works. Now my project is working successfully. So if you want to try this online ID, I will provide the link of this Flask project in the description. You can check that out. And this is how you deploy a Flask 